Louie gets away, but she's on the run for life, so is she really free? Your boy Oso, well, he does get away scot-free, but will he ever see his family again? Probably not. Leon and Wanda, well, they go back to Ghana to live their best lives. Your girl Sissy, she's locked up for life, and your boy Franklin, well, he's just a tragic reminder that sometimes you just have to walk away, take the L, and move on. We're talking Snowfall Season 6, the finale, y'all. Let's get into it. Yo, yo! <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, EJ. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and take a look around. If you like it over here, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel. Now, for all my channel members and day ones, thank you so very much for all the love and support of the channel. Make sure to go ahead and like, share, and comment. Now, guys, on last night, I would say that we witnessed one of the best episodes of Snowfall this season. I would also say that it had one of the most disappointing endings that one could ever ask for. Although the episode itself was an amazing episode, the way that it ended was so tragic and so sad. Now, although some of the characters had great endings and although some of the characters got away, the main character of the show, the rise of Franklin that we watched go through all five of these seasons, only to see him devolve in this last season, only to see the tragic fall of Franklin, only to see that your boy Franklin, when it was all said and done, turned into something that we couldn't recognize. Now, I do want to say 100% hands down that your boy Damson did his thing with this character, Franklin. Kudos to him. The way that he created and brought this character to life was amazing. He definitely had to put his own twist on this he had to put his soul into this in order for it to come out the way that he did I mean he did an amazing job with this so definitely want to give him his flowers now y'all let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things that happened in the episode and then we'll travel back to Franklin now first and foremost let's go ahead and get Louie out the way because the way that they ended Louie's story is basically that she's on the run you know they're still looking for her they still want her remember all these DEA a agent died and you know the only person that they really can connect to anything is you know Louie when it's all said and done they know nothing about anybody else because of course this was an operation that was on the low but you know they do have those pictures of Louie so they want her really bad, but unfortunately, you know, they haven't been able to get her. So what kind of life is this? Did Louie actually really get away? I know we would all like to see maybe Louie die because I know I did. But at the end of the day, she has no life. Her life is going to be looking for odd jobs, on the run, hiding, looking over her shoulder all the time. One could say that this is probably a fate worse than death. So that's how her story ends. Now, as we move on into Oso, Oso gets a little bit of a better story. And I say little because at the end of the day, Oso may never see his family again. Although Oso is free, although he is not running away from the cops or looking over his shoulders, because I don't think that where he's at, he's going to really have to look over his shoulders anymore. But he will never see his family again. They're somewhere in North Carolina. Oso is not going to be able to come back to the United States. I mean, it wouldn't be smart for him to do that anyway. So where he's at is where he is. And to never see this family family that you love again has to be a horrible feeling so although his story is a little bit better than Louis, he still has lost something as well now as we move on into a closure of a story that we had been waiting to see what happened for a long time we got to see what happened to peaches peaches managed to spend almost five million dollars and shoot it up his arm that had to be the most tragic and saddest thing that i have seen in a very very long time now, when Franklin actually gets there and he's trying to get this money, he's so desperate thinking that, you know, Peaches still has some of this money. He had to have known better. He had to have known that once you are in the stage where Peaches is, that that was it. And when he finally got into the safe, there was only 12 grand, 12 grand out of five million dollars. This was so sad. But what would happen next was even sadder. The guy who helped him to get into the safe, the guy who had three children to go home to, 
Franklin had to shoot him because he had to shoot the little base head that was there with Peaches. He had to kill him and the guy heard him kill him. So now he has to kill this guy so that, you know, he can cover his tracks. And it was just really sad watching Franklin travel so far down, y'all. Like we've been slowly seeing this character kind of go downhill. But I mean, in this episode, I mean, whew, y'all. It was a lot. I'm not even going to lie. It was a lot to process. So, you know, there's that. Now, as we move on to Sissy, we know that Sissy told Franklin she would never that they would never talk again. And she refused to talk to him each time he visited her. But what he did when he visited her the last time when he was trying to get her house. I mean, that part right there was so hurtful and so, so very hard to watch as Franklin called his mother out of her name constantly as Franklin was just losing it, you know, and to think his mom is there because she tried to save him. It was just a sad situation because now Sissy has lost her life, the rest of her life. You know, she will be in prison forever you know, because she wanted to save her son. But when it all came down to it, Franklin couldn't be saved. Franklin had traveled too far down. Franklin had $73 million in his hand. This is an amount of money that most people will never touch in their lifetime. And in this particular era that Franklin was in, he touched this amount of money and he couldn't let it go. It didn't matter that he had properties, that he had a child on the way, that he had Veronique. He didn't care about that. All he cared about was getting this money back that he felt like he worked so hard for and he needed to get it back. Now, I'm not taking away the fact that he worked really hard for all of that money. He did a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Travel. Franklin traveled down a long road and some of it wasn't pretty. So I get that at the end of the day. But when it's all said and done, sometimes there are things that are much more important than money, especially when you see that you're about to take your L. It would be different if he could have gotten the money back without taking such a huge loss, but he couldn't. And when he saw that it was over, it just should have been over. Now, two characters that had a very good ending was Wanda and Leon. Leon was going to stay at first, but after talking to Sissy, she tells them to go with his wife because Wanda decided that she was going back to Ghana. All she had was enough for one ticket, one way ticket, but she knew that she couldn't stay there. And that's what I liked about the character Wanda. She knew that at some point she would probably end up traveling back down the road that she had been before. And that's not who she wanted to be. She chose who she wanted to be and she took that chance, even if it meant leaving Leon there and starting a whole new life. But thank goodness your boy Leon decided to listen to Sissy and he went with his wife. I think this was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to this couple. Veronique was always a wild card for me. On one hand, I believe that she was down for Franklin. But on the other hand, I always believe that if it came down to it, she would leave Franklin and do what was best for her. Because at the end of the day, the name of the game is self-preservation. Now, to be fair, Veronique would have stayed with Franklin if he had made the right choices. The right choice would have been to sell his stake in the spring property. And then that way they would still have the other properties and they could have still built a life off of that. He still had some form of money, maybe not $73 million, maybe not even $37 million, but he still had enough to build a decent life. And the fact that you actually got away with selling drugs at the low that he got away with it the fact that the CIA was going to walk away the government was going to walk away and leave you alone like this never ever happened I mean I just don't understand why Franklin just didn't take that W and move on but instead he decided to put his hands on his very pregnant girlfriend Veronique and you know there you have it you know at the end of the day we saw her mom her mom already told her that she needed to go and raise that child by herself 
because look, well, not by herself. She was going to help a raise her, but you know what I mean? Because Franklin was slowly devolving and that's exactly what happened after he put his hands on her. She decided that she was going to go take the money. Now, in all fairness, I do feel like Veronique could have left him half the money, like keeping it real. She didn't have to take all 800,000 of the money. She could have only took half of it and left him the other half, but that's not what she chose to do. She took all 800,000 and she was in the wind never to be heard again, except for the time that she called him as Franklin explains later and tells him that his son is, you know, in the best schools and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, Franklin Saint will never see his child. He will never get a chance to see his seed grow up. He will never get a chance to see what this child could become. And this child is going to grow up without his father because Franklin made all of the wrong decisions. Needless to say, guys, Franklin never got the money back. He never got the 37 million. He never got the 73 million. That money is gone and it is what it is. Now, when we do see this character five years later, Leon is going to go and visit him. Leon is back from Ghana. He goes to visit his friend. And when he goes to visit him, he's staying in his mom's old home, his mom's house that is being repossessed because the property taxes have not been paid on it and there is a vacate the premises sign up there but Franklin is staying in the house and you can see that the house is in disarray I mean it has junk and everything all over the place and Franklin is just in there looking dirty his mouth is horrendous like Franklin is a straight up wino he is a drunk he is horrible and it is just the worst tragedy that you could have ever seen. It is the worst disappointment that you could have ever asked for for Franklin Saint. Now, do I understand it? Do I get why this happened? Do I understand why it worked out the way that it worked out? Yes, I completely do. But that still doesn't stop you from hating the fact that a character that you rocked with and rode with all of these years that you watched rise just come to a complete and utter fall on their face. Now, when it's all said and done, your boy Franklin says that he's free. But how free really is he? Because at this point, Franklin is a wino. He's a drunk. I mean, it may not be crack. It may not be that very thing that he pushed out into the community that has taken him over. But it is still something that very much has a real addiction to it. And Franklin Saint has no life. Franklin Saint has no one. It's just him at the end of the day when it's all said and done. And they even took his house away from him. And Franklin actually says, that at the end that they've taken everything else you know why not take the house too and you see Leon want to help his friend and he calls his name but Franklin never looks back and then Leon walks away and you know this is how this story ends y'all so anyway, guys, that is what's up with Snowfall, the season six finale. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Let me know what you thought about how Franklin's character devolved. Let me know what you thought about how Louis Oso's Wanda and Leon's stories ended. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below, guys. Meanwhile, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel, y'all. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future content. Now, YouTube tells me that you just might like this video next, so go ahead and take a look at it. Until next time, guys. Peace.